Hey, welcome okay, back, and uh, Brad Jadik once again, and uh, well, it's uh, 14 fucking bands time. Um, got a list ready, and uh, I don't know when I'm going to do one last, but I got a list ready to go, so I'm going to do another one. Sorry about the creaking, I had to get comfortable. Um, so let's go ahead and start. Uh, start the top here. Uh, number one is a guy named Nate Logston. Uh, last name spelled L O G S T O N. And like I said before, I will post the list down below. And I actually, last time I started doing something different, and that I put, if I had a song, if I looked one up and I remembered the song, I put it in there. Uh, this time, I think I'm going to try and put a song by every single one of them, um, if I can. At least, you know, one song title to either, you know, Hunt On. Um, but I will say Nate DeLogston is not really a known person. Uh, there's actually two people on this list who you're going to really have to hunt for. Um, so I might go back and give you the actual uh, link to check them out. Um, Nate Logston, actually you can look up him on YouTube. Um, he actually has a lot of songs that he's you know, either covered or originals. I think he's a really, really good artist. You know, he just needs to you know, get out there and feel the hearing. Um, so that's that. Um, the second band is Bullet for my valentine and you might have heard this band um they had a song called the victim that really really took off you know and uh they're really really good and they still are pretty good um but i think they're kind of you know the last city that came out was kind of like mm, it was okay but i don't think it you know, took off as much as you know as the last album did um if you never heard of them check them out a uh, hard rock band um so really good um, the next band, I'm actually going to talk about two bands at once. One is Ministry, and the other one is Revolting Cox. Now, this was not on purpose. I did not mean to do this. Usually, I don't do this. Um, but it actually, I believe, has the same singer. Um, I was not aware of this until I started listening to Revolting Cox, and I already put Ministry on the list. But Revolting Cox is a band that people probably don't know about. So there you go. I actually got two bands, same singer, but kind of unknown. Some people who know today wouldn't really know of those two bands. Uh, so make sure you check out Ministry um, and Revolting Cox. Um, very, very cool bands. Um, then I'm going to go back to number four. Um, and of course a band called Opeth. Um, I guess I guess you can call them like a progressive metal band, but they really really been popular. Um, I don't know if they're popular lately, I think they still are. Um, but they were like pretty big or people in the metal scene were like, Wow, you know, they're they're great, blah 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 and I still think they are in regards, they're still regarded as one of the top metal bands, but I just heard other names being talked about lately other than them. Uh, so, uh, yeah, make sure you check out Opeth, O-P-E-T-H. Like I said, list will be down below. Okay, so then Revolting Cox was number five, Ministry was number three, Opeth was number four. Uh, so then we go to number six, which would stop the confusion. <laughs> uh, number six is a rapper. Yes, I put, uh, there's two rappers on here, so... And they're not mainstream, so there you go. Um, they're both from Suburban Noise, um, so no surprise there. Um, I will put other people other than that, but right now that's all I can think of to put on here. Um, oh, it's a really, really good list. Uh, a lot of bands you're not going to know on this list at this time, so I'm really looking to try and do that. You know, I'm always going to throw a few on there that people know of, you know, just, you know, maybe don't want to go back and listen to them, you know. Um, or just listen to the song just for the sake of being on this list. There you go. Um, so Big B is the rapper. Uh, really, really good. He had a hit song called The Hooligan. Hooligan. Uh, when he first came out. Um, just listen to a new song to him tonight. Uh, yeah, called Criminals or Criminal. Uh, really, really good. Uh, that was on the 2009 release. So, yeah. Um, so that's basically all for him. Check him out. Really good. Uh, Big Boy. That's why he's called Big B. He's a big boy. Big old dude, muscles all the way down his sleeves and stuff, but so there you go. 
Um, the next guy is another is an unknown guy. Like I said, I'm probably going to give you a YouTube channel for you to check him out. Uh, his name is Adam Madison. Didn't really listen to a long time. I just listened to one song, and I think that's all he's got. But I felt like, hey, I'm going to throw an unknown on there. Just, you know, for something to listen to. Uh, check him out. I'll put the link down below. Adam Madison. Kind of poppy music. Got a pretty good voice, though. Um, next band, number eight, is a rap group from Spoke Noise. Uh, Potluck. Potluck. Yes, one word. Um, really, really good. I basically bought this because I thought it was an incarnation of, uh, or a, you know, some sort of band off the Combat Kings. I thought, you know, Richter was on there, or, um, what do you call it? Deloke, somebody was in this band from Come of Kings, and I was wrong. And I didn't like them at first when I bought the I bought the album. It's basically a blind buy um, about a couple of years ago, and it was basically a blind buy. I didn't I didn't really think anything about it. I was like, well, the Come of Kings, Ron Suburban Noise, they can't be that bad. So and I didn't like them at first, but it took me a while. But now I do like them. Um, looks like they're not like I guess as hooky as Come of Kings. Um, but uh, definitely are really really good. Uh, definitely worth the to check out. Um, um, I, I seen something about them doing a song with D12, which makes me wonder if they the black guy from the group is actually from D12. I, I don't know. I, I'm probably wrong, but you know, I don't want to seem like a racist or anything. So um, yeah, but yeah, that, that's just just a thought. Um, really really good potluck. Check check that rap group out. Uh, really good. Uh, number nine is a band that, if you watch Adult Swim, um, that's all a lot whatever that show you. That's you know what I'm talking about. Uh, Death Clock is the actual their actual name. Uh, really really good uh, death metal band. Uh, check them out if you haven't heard their music or if you just heard the show and you're a metal fan and you've never heard Death Clock's music. Uh, go check it out. They're actually really, really good, surprisingly. Uh, they do have some weird songs. You're like, how did they get that on the show? Because that was horrible. Um, but for the most part, they're pretty good. Um, staying in the vein of metal, I go to a black metal band. No, there's not black people in it for people who have no idea what black metal means. Black metal is basically where they use keyboards. Uh, I guess you could say more harmonic, like, not like really or like heavy heavy music it is heavy but there's more like a keyboardy sound to it usually um, I guess it's how I used to describe black black metal and it's more like high pitched screaming and black metal so yeah and this band is called Cryptic Howling uh, definitely we'll start throwing some black metal bands in here I found like a huge list of bands and um, probably gonna check out those videos so I can start assembling the list so maybe kind of start every once in a while throwing names into the list. Um, so yeah, definitely probably next time throw about three or four black metal bands. So make sure to check that out. Uh, Cryptic Howling, uh, C R Y P T I K, and Howling. Uh, check them out. Really, really good. Um, <clears throat> the next band is I think starting to gain a little bit of mainstream success. Um, so. I might be wrong. They might be pretty mainstream. You guys might have heard of them. Um, they're called Hail the Villain. Um, Hail the Villain. So check them out. Um, they're really good. Um, I guess hard rock would be what they are. I heard a couple songs and it's not even really that hard. I mean, it's you know, it's rock. It's hard rock, but it's not. It's kind of softer. So check them out. It's pretty good. I think they have like three CDs out now. So. And then we're going to go on to people who everybody's going to know. So these bands are not going to be shocking. I mean, you're going to know these guys, but I want to put them on there. Please check them out. Um, this is uh, number 12. It's going to be Seven Dust. Uh, if you haven't heard Seven Dust, they're really, really good. They have kind of fallen by the wayside lately. Um, but I think they're still putting CDs out. Uh, not too sure on what's going on with the band. Uh, I think the original members are back. I'm believe so. I could be wrong on that. Um, but 
they had Denial, uh, you know, Bitch, they had uh, Waffle, I think was another song, uh, uh, Black, um, Angel Sun, uh, really a lot of good songs, uh, make sure you check them out. I think I'm going to probably put one of their songs, uh, like I said, I'm not really going to do like, I guess I will do a song of the day, um, but yeah, oh, I got the song of the day, forgot. Make sure you check that out. Um, sorry, random bugs. Um, the next band is actually country. I haven't really put too much country out here. I'm gonna put some country on the next time. Mix with black metal, really, really throw it off the list. So uh, um, this group is called the Civil Wars. Um, I really like this uh, country group. Um, it's a man and a woman, um, kind of like uh, a group called Ellen and Owen. Hell and Owen, if you haven't heard of them, check them out too. Not on the list, but hell, I'll tell you to go check them out anyway. Um, the Civil Wars is really good, and they're actually really, really mainstream. Uh, on CMT, uh, they had a song called Barton Hollow, I think that's what it's called. Uh, really, really huge. It's a great song, uh, but they do have more songs. I actually had a song of them doing on YouTube. You can find them doing uh, Billy Jean. People are laughing in the crowd, which is really fucking annoying. It's like, someone wants to play a song, don't laugh during the freaking song, you know? It's ridiculous, you know? They're trying to perform a song. You know, it's like retarded. Anyway, Civil War is really good country group. Um, Man and Woman, really good harmony. Uh, check them out. And the last one, okay, I know. She's huge. You've heard her. You know, if you're a man and you're listening to this, you know, your wife probably plays her songs all the time. Uh, Adele. A D E L E. And the reason why I'm bringing her up is because if you're a man and you have never listened to Adele, you know, if you're a metal hound, you know, hey, you might not like Adele. But give her a chance. Listen to her. Read the lyrics. She is amazing. She is going to be one of those artists that I think is going to be around for a long, long time. That, you know, unless something happens to her. Um. I like the girl who they keep talking about like 24-7 nowadays, that Amy Winehouse, yeah, rest in peace, whatever. Um, but Adele is going to be like really, really good. I think like in years to come, we're going to see her progress and she's going to, you know, prove that she is uh, going to be around for a while. And I really do think so. I think she's a really, really great artist. Um, and that's going from a guy, you know, who mainly likes, you know, hard rock and metal and you know, not poppy stuff really much at all. Um, it's like that. I like Bruno Mars, but. And then the song of the day. Alright. Uh, searching for bands to put on the list, which that's what I've been doing lately. I like it that way. So, I got two minutes to tell you about this song. Really amazing. Song of the day is a Lincoln Park doing Rolling in, Rolling in the Deep. Yes. They're not on my list. They will. They'll probably be on my next list. I'll probably talk about Lincoln Park. Um, but Chester does Rolling in the Deep. Uh, I guess more than one occasion because I found a couple of links where he was actually on stage or he recorded it or something in a recording studio. Um, really, really good. I mean, it's shocking. Uh, uh, yeah. So that's pretty good. Uh, also, check out David Cook's. Uh, Rolling in Deep. It's really good too. Um, but just hearing Chester do it was fucking unbelievable. So that's your song of the day. Rolling in the Deep by Lincoln Park is what you'll find it under. It's actually just Chester. I think Mike Snow is playing guitar. Um, but I mean, I think I know other versions. There are probably other people playing guitar. So uh, yeah, Lincoln Park, uh, Rolling in the Deep. Like I said, I'll put some songs by uh, some people. Maybe not. Like I said, uh, this has been 14 fucking bands. Hope you like the new channel. And keep on checking out Brad Chad. You can what I have to offer on the channel. Any comments, any suggestions, let me know. Subscribe up above. And tell your friends. Yes. Oh, yeah. Tell them. Tell them all.